guys, welcome to art class. I am so bummed that I can't be with you today, but just so you know, I will be back very soon, probably sooner than you would like. So let's just talk about what you're going to be creating today. Today, you're going to be making a little bit of a getting it to know you paper sculpture. That's right, you're gonna be making stuff right away. So the first thing I wanna to talk to you about is going shopping at the store. New friends, in case you don't know me, hello, my name is Miss Stevens, and when I say you're going to go shopping at the store, I don't mean you're gonna walk outside the school and go down to the Kroger. No, I mean you're going to simply walk over to the table that's right behind, right behind you. You can look, it's, it's right there. On that table is a piece of paper. You're going to get that piece of paper. It might be a black piece of paper. It might be a white piece of paper. It just so happens the one I'm holding is white. That's all you're going to get at the store today. You're going to take this piece of paper to your seat and write two things on it. These two things are super duper important because they're the two things you will always write on your paper whenever you come to art class. It is your name and let me hear it teacher code. You have to think for a minute because your teacher code is different this year than it was last year. So you might have to ask a neighbor, what is my teacher code? What do you, uh, oh, if you're in fourth grade, I know it ends with the number four. It just depends on if you have Mr. White, Mr. Burgess, or Miss Grandstaff. If it will either be a W, a B, or an Gee, I couldn't remember what Grant's laugh started with. Oh my goodness. Once you've written your name and teacher code on your paper, you're going to flip it over and then you will get started. All right, guys, today we're going to make a little bit of a getting it to know you paper sculpture. So on your tables, you're going to find a piece of paper that looks just like this. Let's take a closer look at this paper, shall we? It has some pictures on it. It has some words at the top inside of each rectangle and then another picture with some words at the bottom. What does all that mean? I'm so glad you asked. You're going to find things that are about you. For example, me, Miss Stevens, I can wink. That means I can put on my paper sculpture an orange spiral. I do not have any sisters. So here it says, has a sister? Mm, I don't. So I will not be putting any pink zigzags for each sister on my sculpture. Right here, it says play a musical instrument. I can play the ukulele not very well, but I can play it. So that means I can put a purple zigzag on my sculpture. You can pick as many of these that apply to you, meaning they describe you to put on your sculpture. There are three kinds of sculptures you can make. Some of these are going to have spirals, some will have arches, some will have zigzags. So that's three different kind of paper sculptures you'll need to know how to make. Let me show you how to make those real quick. The first one I wanna show you is how to make a paper arch. Now I'm gonna grab a piece of paper. With my paper, I want to make this arch stand up. So the first thing that you have to do is give this arch feet because we want it to stand like this. But the bottom of the paper is just too thin to put glue on. So I'm gonna fold a little foot right here, boop, and then I'm gonna go to the other end, fold a little foot right there, and now suddenly my sculpture has feet and it will be able to stand. To get it to stick, well, you know, I've got to use glue. I'll put a little dot of glue there, a little dot of glue there, and then you can put your arch anywhere you want to on your sculpture. Put it close together to make it tall and narrow, spread it far apart to make it wide. Your choice. That's how you make an arch. Let's talk about how to make a zigzag. Start with another piece of paper and you're going to fold it forward and then fold it backward. Sometimes I like to do it like this with my fingers, going over my finger, and then over the other set of fingers, bringing my fingers out as I go. That's one way to do it. But there's lots of other ways to make a zigzag. It should kind of look like a little accordion. Or maybe some steps or a zigzag when you're finished. So that's how you make a zigzag. To glue it, little dots of glue on the end, press it down. 
Now the last one is a spiral. For that, you'll need to have a pencil. So for a spiral, I'm going to take my pencil. I'll take one strip of paper and hold it with my thumb, just like this. Now I'm going to wrap it around and around the pencil. Doesn't even have to be even or straight. Going all the way to the end of the paper, and when you're finished, slide it out. Voila, you have a spiral. So those are the three paper things you'll need to know how to make for your sculpture. A spiral, a zigzag, and an arch. Now let's talk about using this piece of paper again. Now that you know how to make an arch, a zigzag, and a spiral, we are going to use those paper shapes to tell a little bit about us. I love art. So on the sheet, it said to make a purple spiral. When you're putting glue, remember, you only need a little dot, not a lot. And if the glue starts to drip, wipe it on the lip. I'm wearing something red, so that means I get to make a red zigzag. When you're gluing the zigzag, the zigzag is going to have two little feet at the end. So I'm just going to use my glue brush to add little dots of glue to the end. You can put your paper sculpture parts anywhere you want on your sculpture. You might not finish your sculpture today. Don't worry about it. We're going to continue working on them next time. I love to read, so I get to make a yellow arch. Remember, the glue goes on the bottom of the arch. Just a dot, not a lot. I can't wait to come back to school to see your amazing sculptures.